How to create an Outlook calendar invite easily. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. I will show you how to do so step by step. So let's just go ahead and get started. So first you will need to actually open up your Outlook uh, email here. And then what we need to do is just go ahead to the uh, mail normal inbox here. And what we need to do is just go ahead and click on, you see new mail here on the top. We want to click on the arrow right next to it. So just go ahead and click on that. And then here is just going to show us a few options that we can actually go ahead and create. Uh, we want to select event pretty much. So just go ahead and select event. And now what we need to do is just go ahead and set up this event basically. So we let's just go ahead and zoom in. So uh, the title of the event, you would want to add this. So let's just go ahead and name it um, test events or even invite actually. Uh, and then here you can uh, just feel free to invite the attendees so we can just go ahead and search for people add them in here and you can feel free, feel free to add as many as possible if you want uh, and then from the actual title here we can actually turn on skype meeting if it is a skype meeting you can just go ahead and turn this on and you can see now that we have a skype meeting uh, option but i'm just going to go ahead and turn this off and i forgot even on the top here we can actually change a few stuff uh, like the um, minutes before, categorize, and also make it private or public. But anyway, we can just go and move on. Here you will need to set up the actual date of the event. So we can just go ahead and make it October 1st, in my instance. And we can actually just go ahead and add the time. So from, let's say, from 9 a.m. till um, 10 a.m. So it's just going to be one hour meeting. Uh, and then from here, we can also make it reoccurring. So if you want to make this a weekly thing, feel free to do so. If you want to make it a monthly thing, you can also do so. And if you want to make it a yearly thing, uh, you can also do so on 1st October and so on. So just feel free to set this up accordingly to whichever thing uh, that you want. I'm just going to actually turf, turn off this repeat thing, but you can feel free to click on save if you actually want it to stay now if the event is going to be in a specific location you can feel free to add it in here as well and finally here you can also add the description uh, of the actual event where you can just go ahead and click on save and send it out to uh, the attendees basically and you can actually see the invite link for this calendar Alter alternatively if you don't want to do it this way you can always just go back to or not go back to but just open up the calendar and from the calendar itself we can just go ahead and find the day where we want to uh, invite people double click on it and then we can just go ahead and do the same steps again so hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching